I am one of the senior social workers here at St Vincent's Hospital. I work in the what's called the ED ICU team. I would say uh, not necessarily that someone would die every day in intensive care. However, I would say that we're always in different stages of those conversations with families, depending on where their loved ones at. I think that's the beauty of social work is that no two days are ever the same. So even when you come in thinking it's going to look a certain way, the nature of the crisis work in emergency and intensive care means that it can all change quite quickly. So if we have a death in emergency, it's often trying to locate who this person is and their identity. So doing some investigative work around that, going through their belongings, trying to speak with police, seeing if we can get fingerprints, looking online if there's anyone posting about someone missing, and of course to let their uh, next of kin or person responsible know. The beauty sometimes of intensive care is that we have a bit more time uh, to work with the family. We do a lot of memory making, it's called, so handprints, locks of hair, photos of them holding their hands. At the moment, we've got someone with their favorite band t-shirt. We've got it propped up, you know, over the top of their blanket because that was really important to him. The family might say, oh, you know, the car racing or the footy match is the favourite thing, so we'll have that playing in the background or their favourite music, keeping the, what the patient wants at the forefront, but also what the family, helping them to process and to grieve as well. I think it's really important for death to be a conversation, not just at the end of life when we're in that space, it should be coming up before when we're all well and able to have those conversations. Even if I'm seeing someone on the ward, part of my normal assessment with them will be, have you, have you got a will? Who's your person responsible? You know, if something was to happen to you, who would you want us to contact? I think sometimes we're a bit fearful of how someone's going to respond to that. But in my experience, people are really open and willing to talk about that because it is the reality for all of us.